Mambo vipi mambo vipi ladies and gentlemen karibuni tena sana Tuko kwa ah ongoja tafadhali tafadhali finya fusi finya fusi Mambo vipi ladies and gentlemen karibuni sana kwenye Mkenya Marekani TV tuko hapa sisi ndio tunaelezea wa Kenya maisha ambao wanapitia hapa uh, Marekani tuko Seattle Washington na jambo la muhimu ni kwamba itabidi usubscribe because that's how you get to see our stories and how we broadcast our stories so karibuni tuko hapa na Mkenya Malum naona amengara kungara bro what's up Hi hi. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Joe. Uh-huh. Yes. Joe, Joe, what do you do? Um I'm in high school. I'm 17. Um Speak up, speak up. Depends. Bro. Depends on what do you mean what do I do? Like, oh, I do yeah. a lot of things. Oh, okay. A lot of things. <laughs> name them. We have a lot of time. Um okay. Uh I in school I do drama club. Uh I'm in praise and worship at mm. church. Mm. Um I'm the chief of my the youth in my church wow um, which are, which is a uh, house of prayer international in wow. tacoma wow uh, yeah. that's beautiful is it is it a kenyan church yes it is our pastor is um pastor jeffrey chegan okay okay yes. that's beautiful so uh what was it like when you came from uh kenya how old were you i was turning 12 so i was 12. like 11 wow so how was it to come to transit yani you know to transit from kenya to here the life What was the job? first what was like your biggest uh, uh, like challenge when you, you came to America what was the biggest challenge first sleep <laughs> sleep because yeah, huh? of um, you've changed the hours zone. yeah yeah but um, for the most part it was everything just mm. everything now there's not like a specific thing it was just everything wow yeah and and how did you now try to adjust well It wasn't like an adjustment for me mm. coming here being like 11. It was more like a growing up again. So it was like just just starting up growing up again because yeah. it was like I was born again mm. again. <laughs> so and school, school you came from Kenya primary now you come you, you came from primary school now you're coming here to your your something. Yes, 8. Your 8. Yeah, 8. So Sometimes. what was that like? Um different because some of the things i learned in kenya i relearned them here and then just new things going into high school form 1 uh, ninth grade form 2 10th grade and going on did you feel like the education the way the syllabus uh, is taught is kind of wh- which one do you prefer i prefer kenya's cuz it's 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 more age based mm. but here it's more like It's easier mm. for growing but in Kenya it's easier for your age there is like like when if I was like 10 yeah I learned things that like a 10 year old would learn but mm. here if I'm like 17 now I learn things that like help me grow throughout being 17 all the way mm. to 18 so it's like it's here it's easier Kenya's is more pushing you so so right, pushing yeah, is gotcha. yeah yeah so and uh you are leading your church yes oh, and at school and at school wow you look like you're gonna be the next obama <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah i know we're in the election season mm-hmm. so uh what is it that uh i know i know sometimes kenyan children who are here they're like we cannot go to a kenyan church because they are so kenyan and they can also f- not fit in the Ke- american church so they are just there i know it's a bit of a challenge so how do you like encourage uh, your youth group to uh, fit in now your own culture because it's like you're forming your own culture it's not kenyan is not american mm-hmm. it's like kenyan american yeah um, yeah we add everything that we can mm-hmm. for everything Like right now we're working we have a youth Sunday um 2 weeks from now mm-hmm. and we're working on like a presentation like a play and um writing it we're working on incorporating like Kenyan style and like American, American style uh-huh. too so what does the American style contain it contains a lot of english and okay. like um a different kind of mentality and like setup and 
and that kind of thing. But the Kenyan aspect of it is like mostly our faces and our accents and different backgrounds. It's 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 something you see. It's not something that like I can explain. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I w I would want to come and watch that play because uh, I used to be an actor in Kenya. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I, w I w want to come and watch that. So um, uh, I want to ask this: uh, How is it about uh, growing up with your parents? Because you know, in Kenya, I grew up in Kenya, and our parents were so harsh. But here, they have to tone down because there is room for talking to children. Children have their standing family. Yeah. And even my daughter, I have a four-year-old. She tells me, Dad, you cannot do that. I have to listen. <laughs> yeah. It's not like in, in Kenya, when we were growing up, uh, children were only to be heard, not to be... Oh, they were only to be seen, not to be heard. <laughs> yeah. So, I know the culture is changing, and uh, are you enjoying that uh, openness? You can you can engage your parents. Yes, it's 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 very helpful to like talk with my mom or talk with my dad about like anything. But um, with like kids these days, they don't like talking to like their parents because they feel like it's not something they should do. But it it really helps because sometimes you just need someone to talk to, you know. And your parents who have grown up with you know you better than like anyone else. Yeah. So even even if it's not everything, mm. even if it's just something that like I think or say, I just tell them and we just converse. So do you think we need to have more mentors uh, in terms of speaking to the youths? Because there's a lot of uh, depression happening in the youths. Youths are taking out their lives because of that gap. Uh, and you find somebody's learned, they are even doctors, but they don't have somebody to talk to and it ends up being a depression. So do you think it's a good thing to have those forums where maybe younger adults can mentor the younger generation on how to, just somebody to lean on Yes, when yes. crisis arises. Yes, it's like great to have like that kind of mentor and like building them in like not even like religion or anything yeah, but yeah. like to know God mainly because that's like the most important part in, in growing in anything mm. you know even for me um, it, like you can talk with like parents about like stuff here and have a mentor uh, that can help you talk to parents and talk to God as well Yeah, because that's that's why that's where it gets to like being more open. Wow, wow, wow. I like that you founded in, in the foundation of Christianity, yeah. which is a good thing because uh, most young people do not believe right now. They believe in other things. Yeah. But being founded and being uh, rooted deeply with uh, issues of Christ is a good thing. It's like, it's like, um, it's like a, it's like a, let's say potato. Yeah. Why a potato can't grow just sitting somewhere that it's not supposed to grow. Mm. It's supposed to grow in soil. Yeah. So like Christ is the soil. So mm. like we as potatoes or people should grow in Christ, then we can grow. Yeah. If we go somewhere else, like in the world or like finding our own way, we can't, mm. right? Cause it's, it's not where you're supposed to be. Mm. And you can't, if you grow, it won't be like any, it won't be worth it. I, I like so that. So that's why some- I like that analogy. Like but you, you, you have to use our room. <laughs> it's, it's the one thing that came into mind. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, lead, uh, I mean, election has just been. Uh, this is a season for election. Uh, you've seen how hap it happens. It's so different from Kenya. Yeah. Because people start voting from like months before the D Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, I don't know how the 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 gov if the governance right now is gonna uh, shake the gov government that is coming so uh what are the things that you've seen that uh make you like compare to what we know in kenya um you know in kenya even here i'm not much of a politics person oh, okay yeah I, I don't i don't know much about politics okay so, yeah but it affects but, our lives yeah it does it's important um to like know like a leader mm. like a leader has to have like good qualities and to find those good qualities you have to like 
know what they're talking about yeah right if you're to lead someone you have to tell them your goal you have to tell them what you're passionate about mm. yourself so that they can understand you and understand if that's what's meaningful for them if not then they choose another leader that's like uh, that their message um, is better for them and other people okay yeah so when and you grow up sense. when you grow up what do you want to become um, I want to be a youth pastor, actually. Wow. Yeah. That's, and, um, yeah. Wow. Wow. That's a, a very nice thing. So, before we end, I want us to play a game. Yes. So, okay. you'll tell me your favorite your favorite letter, mm. and then I'm going to ask you to t tell me a car, type of food on that specific letter. <laughs> so, what's your favorite letter? Uh, okay. Um, I'll go with C. Okay, type of a car? Cattle. Type of food? Um, candy is the one that comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> name of a person? Uh, Cameron. N name, name of a country? Uh, country. Yeah. 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 Cuba. Ah, that's Cuba. I think Cuba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll Cuba. go with Cuba. Canada. Yeah. Canada. Canada. <laughs> name of a um, capital city? Uh, see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I can't think of one. Okay. 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 <laughs> Name of a city. Any city. Any city. Let me simplify it for you. Any city with a C. Any city. That makes it. Um. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't. I. I it's I, homework. I, I can't. Tell me. <laughs> tell me, ladies and gentlemen, a name of any city that starts with a C. Mm. And with that. Costa we come Rico. to the end. Congo. <laughs> Congo. Oh. That, California. That's oh. a state. That's oh, a state. That's a state. <laughs> Congo. A state? Ladies and gentlemen, they're intruding our, our vlog. So <laughs> <laughs> we've come to the end of our show. Kumbuka kusgonga subscribe manake, ukigonga subscribe ndi una to support. So gonga subscribe na ugonga kengele. Kengele itakuwa hapa. Gonga kengele. Cheers. I hear. Yeah. Okay, now let's pause it now. Okay. okay. Oh.